we turn this into this. Well, not literally, and the uh, story is more complicated, but I promise you, it's one of the best stories I've experienced in my life. While crossing the Charles Bridge, we've noticed there's a spot where people hang a lot of love locks. This used to be full of them, uh, but it's not anymore because we cut them off. Sorry. You may be wondering, and you may be mad at us that we were cutting these off, and why were we doing it? Well, it wasn't just one lock. There were hundreds of them just here. Just from this bar, it was more than 200 kilos. Imagine hanging three big guys on this. And there was a case in Paris where a bridge, part of it, actually collapsed under the weight of these locks. And people were not only putting them here, they were putting them on statues, on lamps, uh, on railings, everywhere. We actually made a video about this and we got a lot of love and hate from all around the world. Uh, and we got millions of viewers on that video. This lock in that street cost 500 crowns. That's 20 euros. People, guys, there are better ways to spend your money. But mainly, we got one important viewer, and that was our friend Andre. Andre saw the video and he said, hey, Yannick, how much do people pay for these locks? And I said, 20 euros. He said, that's crazy. Somebody pays 20 euros for a lock, puts it here, and you cut it off. He's just wasting money. How about they put their money onto something that you will not be able to cut off? And I said, like what? And he said, like a new bell. Now it is important to mention that Omze is a bell ringer in one of the Prague churches. And he said, there's a lot of bells missing in Prague because the Nazis took them away during the Second World War. So he said, how about we do a crowdfunding campaign and gather money from the tourists for a new bell that nobody will cut off. And that's exactly what we did. So I guess you get the idea by now. We are starting a crowdfunding campaign to get a new bell. Within a couple days, we gathered through the crowdfunding enough money for a new bell to the church. And not just any church, a one-of-a-kind church in Prague. This is the church of St. Havel. And believe it or not, St. John of Nepomuk was a priest in this church. So we decided to name the bell after him. So it's the bell of St. John of Nepomuk. By the way, one of the donations was from a Swedish couple for the bell and it was more than 2,000 euros. Thank you so much. And there were more than 300 contributors to the bell. So with all that money, we thought we gotta get the best bell we can. So we gotta find the best bell maker. So we went to Mr. Grasmeyer in Innsbruck. His family has been making bells for centuries, for many, many generations. And when we went to see how the bell is being made, me and Honza were in tears. Eighty-five kilos. It's a big boy. Can you hit it here? Uh huh. Just gently. Poprva. And thank you. Na zdraví. Na zdraví. Thank you very much. We got the bell shipped to Prague, but for the last couple kilometers, we decided to drive it ourselves. So we got a little car called Bellmobile, and we drove the bell across the Charles Bridge, which was amazing. There's so many cameras behind the bell now. <laughs> We also invited you, our viewers, to participate on this event and together we placed the bell into the church. But that was not the finish. We still had to get it up to the tower, which finally turned out to be the hardest part of the bell's trip. One last letter, one last step to go.
and we're in the finish line. The bell is here. Thank you, Andre. Thank you. This was the moment I've been looking forward to for almost two years due to many circumstances. This took a long time, but finally is here and we can go there uh, to the market and listen to the sound of this new bell. After 80 years, the bells in this church are complete, correct? So for the very first time, we're about to ring the bell of St. John of Nepomuk with Andre the bell ringer. Andre, what is this? Because today we used engines for bell ringing, so... so just, you just push a button and it starts ringing? The green one. The green one. All right. Can we do it? Only you have the remote, or how does it? They just work. Thank you. <laughs> Tourist locks, video, Andras' idea, uh, getting the bell mate, shipping it to Prague, getting it up to the tower, and ringing it for the first time was a long, long way. Uh, almost two years, and I was really looking forward to this moment when we rang the bell for the first time. Thanks to you, all of you who contributed, I made an extra video, you can watch it, there's a link in the description where I'm reading all of your names who donated to the bell. Thanks to these people, we can have a bell in Prague, and I believe they will enjoy the moment of walking through the street here, hearing the bell, and they can say to their friends, to their kids, this bell is here partially thanks to me. So enjoy that moment. And once again, thank you. Here are the names of the contributors we promised to mention in this video. That's it from the honest guys, Honza, Yannick, Andre. We even got a t-shirt printed with our honest bell. Check it out. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And thank you very much again. See you in Prague and make sure to take a picture of our bell. And a Czech word at the end is srdce, which can either be a heart or it can also be a clapper in the bell. So the clapper in the bell is srdce. Do you also want to take off love locks and you don't have these uh, bolt cutters? Well, it's really easy. Just find this type, the number type, and all you got to do is push this very hard and it will actually release without the correct code combination. Lock picking the lawyer. 